Hey there, it's Henry from ExceptionalMarketer.com. Uh, today I want to talk to you about affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a great business model. There are people out there who are actually making millions of dollars every single year from affiliate marketing. Actually, I'm going to show you in this video some examples of companies making hundreds of millions of dollars with affiliate marketing. But like everything else in business, there's a right way and a wrong way to do things. And what I want to do today in this video is to show you the right way so that you don't stumble and do the wrong way. So let's get down to it. So we're going to talk today about how to make money with affiliate marketing in 2021 and beyond. This is affiliate marketing done the right way. So let me show you some models. There's different models for affiliate marketing. So let me show you one. This is the least desirable one, but I want to show it to you. I want you to see where the problems lie. So what I've got here is this little, uh, a little uh, layout here. You've got traffic. And what you're taught to do is take your traffic, send it to an affiliate link, which is right to the product, take you right to the offer. And then when people click and buy, you earn a commission. Now, all that is 100% true. But does this really work, especially in today's environment, the environment where buyers are constantly becoming bombarded and they become more and more skeptical and harder to convince to buy? So let's take an example and take a look at some numbers here. Let's assume for argument's sake that a visitor costs a hundred a dollar. It costs you a dollar to get a visitor to your website. And let's say you're going to buy a hundred visitors. That's a hundred dollars that you're spending on marketing. Now we're talking about spending money, but you could also do this organically, but don't be confused and think that organic traffic is free. It is not free because you have to create content to bring people to your affiliate links. So the time and effort that you're spending creating that contact content is a cost to you. It's not a cost of cash, but it's definitely a cost of time and a cost of effort. So for argument's sake, we're going to say it costs you $100 to run an ad for this affiliate product. Now, they're going straight to your affiliate link. The industry standard for sending somebody directly to an affiliate link for conversions is 1%. That is the standard. Doesn't mean you're always going to hit it. And maybe you'll get lucky and do 2%, maybe. Now let's assume with this particular product, your commission is $50. So you've made one sale, you've earned $50. However, you spent $100 to get that sale. So you've spent the money on your traffic, you got the traffic, you made $50, you have a loss of $50. This is a business model that's been taught for years and years and years. Now you may get lucky, you may have an ad that works. You may have tested this many, many times and developed the perfect ad at a cost of several thousands of dollars in testing. But otherwise, this model is not scalable. You cannot make up a $50 loss by increasing your volume and getting more $50 losses. So this model really doesn't work today. It is totally outdated. It may have worked once. It does not work today. So let's take a look at another model. Okay, in this model, it's a little bit different. You take traffic, but instead of sending it to an affiliate link, you first send it to a landing page, a page where you can get an opt-in. You can get an email address to build an email list, which is a very, very good thing. You always want to be building an email list. So first you send people to your landing page. You build a list from the people who opt in. Then you send everybody to the affiliate link. Hopefully they buy, they see your offer, you make money if they buy, and you've got a list. Well, let's take a look at some assumptions here. Let's take a look at some numbers because the numbers are really gonna tell the story. If the opt-in rate is 30%, which happens to be a pretty good opt-in rate, it's not great and it's not horrible. If you send the same 100 visitors at $100 cost, you're gonna get a 30% opt-in rate. That's 30 people who end up on your list. Now, maybe you're going to get one sale if you're lucky from these 30 people. 
they're the ones who have the most interest. You may make one sale, all right? But you can say, I've now got an email list. I've got 30 subscribers. And you are correct. You do have 30 subscribers. But look what happened. Your lead cost is now $3.33. Okay, so your cost has gone up. Now, what happens now is, and this is what's been taught for ages, is now you have an email list. So you know what you do with that email list? You send them offers. You hammer your list with offers. Now, let me ask you something. I don't know about you. Um, I was on a list one time when I first got started years ago, and somebody sent me an offer every single day. And it was a different offer. Buy this. This is the greatest. You want to buy this. This is the next greatest. You want to buy this. And I took it for about a week and a half. And I got sick of it. And I just unsubscribed. If you don't unsubscribe from such a list, then you're certainly going to ignore it. So this way is also a very, very difficult way to make money with affiliate marketing because you're required to hammer your list over and over and over again. Now, you may be good at building a list. Maybe you don't hammer them. Maybe you do a lot of promotion to them and then you, 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 you give them a ton of value and then you give them a product. So it can be made to work, but this is not the easiest way. It's also not the best way because they don't know you from a thousand other affiliates marketing the same product. You have no brand recognition. You have no authority recognition. So really, that's not a way to go. So let me show you the proper way to go. I've mentioned this numerous times. You may have heard me talk about it before. What you want to do is create a hub. And your hub is your own home on the internet. Basically, it is your branded website. Now, you will create a brand by doing this. You can create your own brand. You can call yourself, you know, top affiliate market. You can make up any type of a name and a brand that you want. And you can start to brand yourself. Now, what do you do with your hub? What, what, what's the benefit of having a hub? Well, first of all, you're no longer homeless. The other guys who just sent people to affiliate links, nobody knew who they were. They were like homeless vagabonds. You've got a place on the internet where you have all your content. That's where you have your content. That's where you have your offers, but you don't hammer people to buy. That's the whole trick here. Here's what we do. You deliver value on your, on your, on your hub. Your hub contains your blog posts. It contains videos. It contains anything of value, of pure content that will help your people succeed in whatever niche it is. Doesn't have to be affiliate marketing or internet marketing. It can be weight loss. It can be uh, any type of make money. It can be fitness. It can be anything you want. And then what you do is as part of your value is you deliver solutions. You offer solutions. You're in your value. You're going to be discussing the type of issues that people in your niche face. What are their challenges? What are their biggest challenges? And you're going to discuss those and you're going to offer value. But as part of offering value, you can also offer solutions. And those solutions can be in the form of affiliate products, products that somebody else created that you can offer as a solution. Now, the difference here is you're not a pushy salesman. <clears throat> you're not a desperate salesman. You're offering solutions from somebody who's building a brand, a, a brand which you want to keep building to make it recognizable. And through having your own brand, you're going to build authority. You're going to build trust. All these things are good. Now, all you are is you become what's called a connector. You're going to connect people who need something to the people who have what they want. And this, you're going to be in the middle where you are going to earn a commission. So here's what you do. You create product funnels on your hub. Now, this may not make sense just now, but I'm going to show you some examples before this video is over that I guarantee you are going to open your eyes big time. Now, instead of sending visitors to affiliate links, 
you want to send them to your hub where your funnels are housed. Your funnels are housed as part of your content. So what you have is you're going to have a funnel. Your funnel will contain your landing page. It'll contain your opt-in pages and offers, but it's all going to be under one URL, which is how you build a brand. But you're not going to say, I got this offer, bye, bye, bye. You're going to say, if you've got a problem with converting visitors to into buyers, here's some of the solutions that have worked in the past. And by the way, if you like, here's a solution that will save you time and get it done for you, this particular product. If you have an interest, please click on the link. Now, guess what you've done? Now, you're simply, you're simply creating on your, on your hub an integrated product suite of related products that you didn't have to create yourself. You are now an affiliate marketer, but you're not a pushy promoter. You're somebody who's offering value, and as part of your value, you're making you're offering solutions as well. You are simply acting as a connector between those who are looking for a solution and those who can provide it for them. That's all you're really doing here, <clears throat> but you're doing it in in a uh, effortless, non-selling manner. Now, through the value you deliver on your hub, you can now sell without selling. You're offering a solution. You're not saying, buy, buy, buy. I got this great product that's going to make you a millionaire overnight. You're going to say, you got this problem. Here's a way you can solve the problem. But you're not going to do it. It's going to be part of your content. Now, you don't sound like a pushy salesman. You don't sound desperate. You're not desperate to that sale. Buy, 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 like the guy who sent me an email every day pushing a different product. You don't hammer on your list to buy, buy, buy. You're not going to do that. You're offering solutions. And you can promote offers effortlessly. You can promote any offer you want. Now, you're not limited to any particular offer. You can, you can even offer ClickBank products. You can offer Jamie Zoo products. You can offer uh, special products where you have a relationship with the vendor, the creator. You can, you can do high ticket. This opens up affiliate marketing to you in any way you want to handle it. Because now that you're building a brand and you're building authority and you're building trust, you can have a zillion offers there. Now, I want to show you some examples. You'll see this. It, this is really unbelievable, but I want, I want you to see this. Here's a site called Nerd Wallet. I don't know if anybody's even ever heard of it, but this is a site called Nerd Wallet which deals with financial matters. As you can see, you've got all this stuff, credit card, investing, insurance, student loans, mortgages, personal loans, banking, travel. Now let's take a look. Let's say I'm gonna take a look at credit cards on Nerd Wallet. So I'm gonna click the credit cards, all right? Start your credit card search with ease, all right? Now they're helping you out with their different recommendations. They got reviews. Now look at this. Discover card, Capital One card, Amex Blue card. Now, these are all on their site. This is all on Nerd Wallet's site. Let's take a peek here. Let's click on this one. I'm interested in this particular credit card. Watch what happens. I click Read More, and let's see what happens. Capital One Venture Review. They've got a review of the credit card here. Give you all the details. They even rate it. Fine. I like this credit card. See here, apply now. Click on that. All right. They're calling up that offer for me. This is Nerd Wallet doing this for me. And guess what? Where am I? I just ended up, as soon as I get rid of this, I ended up on Capital One's site. This is an affiliate offer. Nerd Wallet, with all those categories, hundreds of categories, has not got a single offer that they created. Nerd Wallet is a connector between people who have needs like credit cards. What's the best credit card? What credit card can give me the most back points back in? What credit cards are best for travel? What credit cards are best for groceries and, and gasoline? Well, you can go to any of these places on Nerd Wallet and you can apply hundreds of different things, insurance you saw, mortgages, investing, savings, whatever you want. 
And all of it, all of it, 100% of it is affiliate products. Now, maybe you think this doesn't work. Do you know how much NerdWall earns annually? You ready for this? Upwards of $500 million. They didn't create a single product. All they are is a connector. They built this big site. They put their offers on the site. They've got a brand name. They've got some trust. And they'll sell you this product. You could do this too. You could, you could go today and become an affiliate for Capital One. NerdWallet has done it the right way. Um, did you ever hear of a company called LendingTree? LendingTree is a company where you can go to get a mortgage. Well, guess what? LendingTree does not lend money. LendingTree is not a mortgage company. LendingTree does exactly what NerdWallet does. LendingTree will connect people looking for a mortgage with companies who have mortgages to offer. You know what LendingTree earns in a year? The last number I saw, I'm not sure how long ago it was, $985 million profit. Let that number sink in. $985 million in profit. All they are is a connector. Do you, do you know, you ever hear of Uber? To get a, a ride, you call Uber? Guess how many cars Uber owns? Zero. Not a single car. Probably the biggest taxi company in the world doesn't own a single car. They're a connector. They're a middleman. Uh, let me give you one more example. Maybe you heard of this company. Do you ever have a company called Amazon? Does Amazon manufacture TV sets? Uh, does Amazon make shoes? Does Amazon make uh, a gym sets, a treadmill? Can, do they manufacture those? No, they're a connector. You don't even, many times, you're not even looking for a specific product when you go into Amazon. I need a computer. What's the best deal I can get on a computer? You click on Amazon, they give you 30 different types of computers. You pick the one you want. You don't even know what the brand is. So they're just a connector and they make a ton of money, billions. So does this model work? I think the answer is unequivocally yes. So this is really the way you want to go. You want to build yourself a brand. Don't become the pushy guy chasing one deal. It's not worth it. So I hope this has made an impression on you. It's made a huge impression on me. I'm actually, I have a website that I built out. I have offers on that website and I've made money by doing it. And it's effortless. It is effortless selling. You have content, you bring people there, you offer them a solution, you show them your product and they buy. And guess what? It's 100% passive. You do zero. Once you've got it set up, you just send the traffic and you're done. So if you found this video helpful, and I can't imagine you didn't, please click on the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. I'll notify you every time I make a new video, which I try to do on a regular basis. So please start thinking about building a branded hub for your affiliate business. Next, until I catch you next time, best of luck to you.